ask if you've got questions. Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here for the same reason. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. To meet him. It's been ages the since cowboy. the has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. This does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. It helps to have a good teacher. Dad, don't let it go to your head. Good teachers are like supernovae. Brilliant auras of light that turn dust into stars. A <laughs> compliment from little Cora. And it's not even my birthday. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila. For a settled planet of the Freestar Collective, and not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We're How creative! The city spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories, and I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing: artifact. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? Still want the Mantis mission. And also just explore the area. Oh, I can't even reach it. See the eye. All right, how do I dock this thing? Slow, slow. Okay, what do I do here? That must be the boarding area. Oh. Oh. Duh. Hail. The eyes open to you, constellation.
We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. This voice does not match this body. An honest job. No shame in that. Some of us have done far worse. We're a team now. What we do together and now is more important than what we did alone and before. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. <laughs> Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. Wouldn't be tipping your ear if I thought it was a waste of time. Giving you the best of what's available. No more. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull a worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. And for an old man, he looks great. Another rook in Constellation who's making a name for herself. Likes to be on her own. I can relate, so I try to look out for her more than most. It's okay to be worried about her, Glad. She's been out there for a while. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Ever run the scholars on the Centaurus Proclamation? The original treaty that gave every human the right to colonize the stars? Stolen by some fool's joke of a crimson fleet rook looking to trade names to Captain. Sight to see pinned above my chair, like the whole settled systems was mine for the taking. Time dances its years forward, and I'd retired. That's when our own Sarah Morgan walks into the tale. Fire in her eyes and her head full of intel I thought I had spent the labor's efforts burying. Of course, I didn't have the Centaurus proclamation just lounging in my pockets. Belonged to the ship and her new captain in the fleet I had left behind. Tipped your ear long enough, but the short line of it, Sarah and I returned the treaty to the rightful owners. And I decided to hang around, lend an old pirate's wisdom to the mission. Show the words another time then. <laughs> I like this guy. I like how he looks vastly different from everyone else. I don't know. I like him. Yeah, I'll take that. I have something for you. Not now. That ship will carry the memory of your visit forever.